Hi, I'm Scott Campbell. Welcome to my window painting tutorials. Lesson 52, Ducks and Beavers, Part 2. Howdy everybody. Well, I'm back at um, Video Only in Beaverton and finishing up. First, I wanted to show you some lettering, like how I turn the roller on end. I know I have videos like this before, but I like to recap and show things. But I take the roller and I turn it. I turn it a little like this on the end, tilt it, and I grab the line. It takes a little bit of practice, but it's really a time saver. But see how I turn it? Turn it on end. Then the middle part I can just fill in real quick. And sometimes I can get away with one coat when I do this, which is pretty cool. It does save a lot of time, especially when you're doing large lettering. But see how I just tilt it on the end? And then I kind of go, go, go. And then I get it into the corners. It's, it's kind of tricky. But uh, like I said, for big lettering, it's really, really economical on time. And then the other thing, too, is you can use a 2-inch foam. I've showed you that in other videos, too. Like here, and... Uh, you can get some really clean edges. You can hold it on the end too, or you can do the whole flat part. See how I do the end on the bottom? And you get some really clean lines really quickly too. The only thing with this is you need two coats, usually with a brush. And with a roller, sometimes you can get away with one coat, especially if you're doing some red and white lettering and it's going to be up for, you know, a week or two. You don't necessarily need two coats when you do the roller. The other thing you can do with a roller is you can turn it, the whole thing like this, and use the whole edge. This again takes practice, you know, it takes a while to get the hang of it. But look how quickly it happens. <laughs> you know, you can just get, once you get the hang of it, you train your brain, you can like really knock out a lot of lettering quick. And this one I may have gone over it with two coats. Actually, what I did was I took this, the cheaper red, and mixed it in with my good red because I didn't want to buy a whole gallon yet. Here I'm going in and doing the um, the black outline on the on the beaver, but I wanted to I wanted to tell you that like sometimes if the if the outline or if you're using a shadow color, it's really really dark. Like in the, this case, the beaver's shadow is really really dark brown. And uh, so you don't necessarily have to go over every inch of the outline. Like a couple parts, I just overlook it. But again, all the stuff on these, on these two, um, the duck and beaver part one and part two videos, all real time. So you can see it again. That's why it took so long. The videos are kind of longer. This one's only about nine minutes. The first one, I think, was 11 or 12. So... It really came out good too, and I'll show you the finished product here in a minute. These are the Utech, the Utrek brushes. The they're flats. They're the the two thirty series. They're single stroke, long, long stroke, or whatever they call them. You can order them online from Utrek or. I haven't had much luck with regular lettering brushes. They're just they're too they're too floppy for me. <laughs> These kind of hold the the stiffness of the of it, so they're really nice brushes. So here's what I'm happy. Here's what's happening on the other side. I'm just doing some really simple lettering and uh, some blends with black lettering. And I thought I would show you me working in real time with the. I think this is the three-quarter inch Utrecht flat 230 blue handle brush. I really like these. They're really they're really fun to use. And you get that black cell vinyl going. It's just smooth as hell. <laughs> get really some clean lines. And I never did learn how to use a mall stick because the stuff I do is really fluid and it's freehand and I don't do a lot of precise stuff like these sign writers that are so incredible, like these guys on Instagram just blow my mind, the accuracy and the technical skill they have. But for what I do, this works great. It's quick. It doesn't have to be totally accurate. It's a window splash. 
this here is, um, says Sonos, which is one of the brands. And you can see how the O's are even a little bit different. The, the S's are pretty tight, though. They look pretty similar. The one on the, the one at the end is a little bit taller. There's a little bit of the space. So here, actually, what I'm doing is I'm, I departed from my Utrecht, my Utrecht brushes. Like sometimes when I'm doing some big lettering that's black, I'll use a two-inch foam. So this is a two-inch foam brush, and it's really extremely rapid. This is all I used to use, one-inch and two-inch foam brushes like this. But uh, check this out. I mean, it's fast because it's wider. It's a wider, it's a wider brush, and it, it holds a lot of paint because it's, it's foam. You know, it's like a foam brush. And here it's going to say Curve TV. So I kind of sized it out. You know, I, I, I get up there and I go like this, you know, to, to kind of feel it out. And as I'm going along, I'll kern the lettering to make it fit. And uh, I usually get pretty lucky making stuff fit. But sometimes I don't, in which case I use an exclamation point. Or I'll put some dingbats in there. That's those little stars. <laughs> That's what they call those dingbats because... I couldn't figure out how to make the lettering fit, so you have to add the dingbats. <laughs> so there you can see I'm sizing it out. You know, I'm like feeling it out. It's going to say curved, so I kind of like, I mimic my doing the lettering. I like doing that R, you know, doing the little whoosh. It's kind of cool. Again, this is all in real time. So, so the curve thing, I don't know, maybe three, four minutes to paint that, five minutes. I don't know how long it's been so far. Probably not five minutes, probably three or four minutes to do the whole thing. Actually, I started at five, five minutes. And yeah, so it's, it's less than three minutes. This took less than three minutes to write curved. So it's really economical. You can cover a lot of, a lot of window quickly with this lettering technique, this style. And the, the blend I did, the 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 basic blend, red yellow blend, that probably took. I don't know, maybe. You see, painting the white probably takes a minute. Painting the blend takes a couple minutes. So to write curved on that, probably about eight or nine minutes total. I don't know what that was. <laughs> so anyway, here's the finished product on the one side. And uh, you can see on it, you can see on their hats too, or their helmets, I've got the decals. I use the decals. I printed them out because I, I don't want to paint those. And then I also have decals on the door too. And they really love those. So here's the whole deal. 8 million pixels clear <laughs> and then the other sides all finished up too 4K UHD curved TV 8 million pixels Samsung Sony Bose Sonos LG you wanted me to do the logos I said I can do the logos the other logos too but it's gonna cost more and they're like oh, okay just hand letter anyway thanks for watching I appreciate it